Hey everyone, it's Andrew. No, I promise I'm not naked. I'm just laying on my bed. I've got shorts on. All right, so there's Emily. Hello. Mr. Socket is going to tell you a story. Take it away, Mr. Socket. Thank you, Andrew. All right, uh, one time, Todd Smith came home from work. And when he came home from work, he saw that there were guard gnomes on his lawn. He was rather confused by it, but assumed his wife Sherry had bought them. <coughs> I tried some of that uh, grizzly wintergreen today. Still a little bit of it stuck in my throat. Continue with the story, Socket. Oh my my, yes, where are my manners? Okay. So he sat down at his table and looked across at his wife, Sherry, and asked her about the gnomes. She claimed she did not buy them. So he wondered if someone was pulling him a prank, but he could not. it could not have been his son, Drew. That's Andrew, right? You? Mm-hmm. Just checking. Because Andrew was away in New Orleans. So, assuming it was just a prank by a local teenager, he discarded the gnomes in the trash. The next day, he came home and seen that the gnomes were not in the trash, assuming the garbage man had removed them. He went inside to get himself a beer and discovered there was none. Sherry! he exclaimed. Where's the beer? To which she replied, I don't know. I think you drank it all. I couldn't have drank it all. I just bought an 18-pack yesterday. But you usually go through an 18-pack in about a day or so. But I had half of another one left, he said. Okay, fine. I'll go down to the store and get another 18-pack. So, as Sherry away to the store to get another 18-pack, he began stressing out a little bit wondering just all what was going on. So he went into his room, and that's when he saw it. The gnomes. Three of them. They had beer cans everywhere. The gnomes had taken his beer. Infuriated, he went and grabbed himself a sledgehammer, and he went to send those gnomes to the other side. But when he raised his sledgehammer, he just couldn't bring himself to do it. They're so cute, he exclaimed. And so from that day forward, Todd decided the gnomes were his friends, and he dug them a little hole outside for them to go to the bathroom in and made them a little house in his front yard. Of course, he did not know how to bring this news to Sherry, so he kept it a secret. Tune in next time for more. Very good, Mr. Socket. Wow, thank you, I say thank you.